Hello, what is up guys? It is Justin here from uh, uh, Ice Road Skillers. Uh, sorry, I, have, I still have trouble with that because I have my other YouTube channel that I do videos for and I'm used to doing that introduction and it just sort of gets confusing. Um, anyways guys, this is progress video number three for my skiller Pam Beasley. Um, I feel my defense is ebbing away. Oh yeah, I was trying to find, I don't want to do my progress videos in the same exact spot every time. I feel like that would get kind of boring seeing me in Rock Bank every single day, or every single video just being like, oh, hey, this is me again, doing the same exact thing as usual, just telling you my stats. So I figured I'd just run to wherever. I tried doing it in uh, the wizard, or the dark wizard's tower, and then I almost died, actually. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, we will hop right into it. This was a very, very busy week in a lot of ways. <laughs> Um, first off, still for combat, I will show you guys my gear as usual. Same shit pretty much. Archons, Wizard's Book, uh, regular shoes. I uh, got a sacred clay pickaxe this time. I think it looks really, really awesome. Um, anyways, guys, we will get right into my stats. Okay, uh, of course all my combat stats are the same besides prayer. Uh, prayer, I got 20... Wait, I was 26 last time. I got 29 levels. Um... Wait, 30 levels, 31 levels, <laughs> whatever. I got a bunch of prayer levels, guys. Um, I bought the dragon bones for 60, but I took a break to make this video. Um, I just bought those, and I'm not showing my bank this time, uh, just because my bank is really, really crappy right now. And uh, I'll pretty much just tell you what I spent a uh, majority of my money on. I bought, uh, I think it was 1,100 dragon bones for uh, for 26 to uh, 55 or to 60 prayer. Um, so that was a good chunk of change. I bought uh, a ton of logs. I bought uh, lobsters. I bought pretty much a ton of shit. So my bank's kind of hurting right now. Um, I will show you guys that probably next video or whatever I do. Um, I also have all of these, which is, uh, there will be a link in the description to the money making video that I showed you guys. That is what I've been doing a little bit for money. Uh, it's kind of slow. Well, slow experience but it's kind of good money this turns into that uh, look at the video in the description if you want to learn how to do that uh, it's very simple anyways guys back to stats I got one rune crafting level um, I think a lot of you guys know that I'm currently not really going for any 99s um, I know a lot of people at my level or skill level rather uh, around the 1000 skill level have a few 99s and I just really haven't seen the point in it I, I rushed uh, rune crafting to like 90 and then I just got really bored of the game within like a week of starting up again and I thought that was a horrible thing so I figured if I spent all of my energy doing one skill I'd get extremely bored so I pretty much was, uh, been sticking to doing a few different skills at a time so yeah anyways guys uh, I did 33 to 45 construction I kept getting uh, planks from from spin of the days or squeal of fortune or whatever the hell you want to call it and I just decided to get it up and I only got it to 45. I'm going to go for 60. Oh, I'm going to go for 60 plus and everything. Um, I'm slowly working towards that. It's kind of rough for a few skills. I got to 40 Dungeoneering. That was a shit ton of totals because I was too Dungeoneering last last uh, video. Um, as a lot of you guys know, uh, a couple of friends of mine helped me with that, so I'd like to thank them. Uh, WG Star and uh, Tasty Blue Soda. Both of them helped me out a shit ton. And my friend Evan W99 also helped me out a bit with that. I got uh, 13 to 55 con uh, Constitution. Uh, I did a, I did something that got me a level. I did a yeah Soul Wars. I did I think two games of Soul Wars, and I just figured I'd spend my zeals on Constitution for some reason. Um, I didn't really do much agility. I got 12 to 21. Um, I got 21 just so I can go through the uh, little shortcut to the GE from Varrock. Um yeah, I did a 38 to 48 Herbalore. I still haven't spent a single cent in Herbalore. I've actually made quite a bit of money from farming my own herbs. Every single uh, like hour that is possible that I'm online, I do a herb run. So I've made quite a bit of money from farming in Herbalore. Um, I did 22 to 39 Thieving. I was still doing bakery stalls at 22, and then someone told me about the, uh, the Thieving Guild... Uh, the chests and the doors down there and I got 22 to 39 within an hour is really awesome I did 49 to 55 crafting I profited quite a bit off of that um, I was doing carapace tops I was gonna do a video about how to profit from crafting I also did hard leather boots um, 
Next, I got uh, 50 to 66 fletching. I did I did these quite a bit. Um, it's really not that fast of XP. I think it's, uh, I would say around 15 to, well, 20 to 30k XP an hour. I think I haven't actually tested it because I've mainly been doing that just for money. Um, so I did that, and I also did maple longs or maple shield bows rather. Um, for some of that, I have the logs for like 70 and then 80 fire making. I think. Um, I got 19 to 28 Slayer. That is still just from penguins and uh, and lamps that I get. So still working on that. All of my lamps and penguin points will be going towards that every week. Uh, don't really know how else to do it besides Soul Wars. I got one hunter level. I don't even... Oh, yeah, it was from uh, catching imps that fly by me. <laughs> Whenever like a baby imp flies by me, I just grab it. Uh, so that got me one hunting level. I will be working on that hopefully this week. I could probably get 60 this week. Um, I got 46 to 55 mining. I was power mining iron for part of that, and then I was, I got sacred clay. I got a shit ton of sacred clay tools. I think I got 10 of them, and I used some of that for fletching, some of it for mining, some of it for smithing. I got a, what is that, a 27 to 40 smithing, 13 levels. I, I, I banked some of the iron ore that I got, and I used it for smithing. Uh, I got one fishing level. I'm slowly working towards getting the full fish flingers fishing outfit. I figured I'd get that before I actually put some time into fishing. Uh, so I got one level just from playing that game a few times. I, I only have the hat right now, and I have enough points to almost get the top. So I'm getting there <laughs> slowly. Um, 55 to 87 cooking. Um, that is quite a bit of cooking. You see I'm at 4 mil cooking XP. I'm not going to get 99 cooking as my first 99 because that is ridiculously stupid. I think that cooking is the easiest 99 there is uh, besides fire making with the new bonfire update. Um, but I got that. I've gotten 99 cooking two other times before on my main and uh, one of the, my old peers a long time ago. Um, and I really, really don't want to get it. I, I was going to get 90 uh, cooking, fire making, and fletching over the next few weeks just because it's awesome total levels and total experience and it's really easy and I can do it while studying and reading so the majority actually pretty much all of that cooking experience has been while I was reading uh, political philosophy books for my test or yeah class test whatever um because I am taking summer classes as a lot of you guys know I got 60 to 74 fire making that was also while um while studying uh as you guys noticed a lot of my skills this week have been the easy AFK bankable skills uh, that will be changing when I actually get some free time. I'll be doing harder skills if there is such a thing as a hard skill. I guess just some more time consuming skill. Um, I got 42 to 57 wood cutting. That was just uh, from I used one of the sacred clay hatches on that. Hatchets, axes, whatever the hell you want to call it for that. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll be getting 60 or 70 this week. Um, and I got 69 to 81 farming. That was a shit ton of ore bands, and I, I did tell everyone that I do farming uh, every every hour, I think. Yeah, every... I think I do it... like If I'm cooking, I do it every 1k lobsters. If I'm uh, fire making, I'm doing it every 1k logs. I just figured that was an easy way to keep track of time, because most things are about an hour, and I think herb runs, you can do every... 70 minutes I think it takes for snapdragons to grow or 80 minutes so it, it comes out pretty evenly usually I'm getting there right as they're uh, uh, available to pick which is pretty awesome so I've got this little routine down where I just do that and that's what I've been doing guys that has been uh, my skiller progress video number three um I will do a video when I have a 99 party uh, I don't know when that will be I would really really like to get 60 plus in every skill before I did a uh, 99 just because I could be probably around 2,200, or uh, 1,200 total, not 2,200, um, around 1,200 total, uh, that would be awesome, I'm really not sure where I'm going with this, I'm obviously just skilling, um, I don't plan on getting 200 mil XP in like construction or anything fucking crazy like that, um, I just plan on skilling, that's all I've pretty much been doing guys, so anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, I did not include a bank video on this one, I think I said earlier, because I'm kind of poor as shit. So, yeah, there will be bank videos in the future. I will show you how I organize my bank, because I'm sort of a freak about organizing my bank, and it has to be, like, perfect. And I really never, 
unorganize my bank. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please drop a like.